So, I've always had this idea that, you know, the most important thing in my life is passion. And the most important thing in my life is trying to turn my dreams into realities. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. Sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. It's really hard and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up, you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you've got to love it, you've got to have passion. Because your dreams can be anything. It can be if you love fixing cars, or you love dancing, or you love singing, or you love well, anything. It can be anything. But if you love something and you have a dream to do something, What's important is that you don't allow fear to stand between you and whatever that something is. That's what I think is really important in a person's life is to push through that fear, learn to control that fear, learn to harness that fear. But don't ever allow that fear to hinder you or stop you from living your dreams. Because that's really what life is all about anyways. You know, it's about trying to turn your dreams into realities and to live your passions. Don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Always want to give up. I'm dropping. Why are you dropping? I'm so grateful that the slaves didn't drop and quit. Say, I'm just going to stop. I'm a slave. I'm just going to be a slave. I'm going to quit. So today, although we're slaves, we don't act like we're free. And one day, our children will be free. If the slaves would have just said, we quit, we give up, we would have died in the middle passage. But some slaves said, I don't care what we go through. We're going to survive this. We will live because one day we will become. Please. Stand up! Stop being this high-speed dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the street. Stop walking up and down. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid to take a test. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful.